There are 4.4 million small businesses start each year. However, only 25% of those small business owners do not have a mentor. Out of that 25%, 20% of those small businesses fail within the first year and 50% fail within the first five. This means 12.5% of small businesses fail within the first five years. Now, put that against the 75% that do have mentors. 70% of those businesses survived the first five years with 69% of the 75% growing their revenue within the first year. Even though the total five year survival rate with and without mentors is 82.5%, the studies show that small business that small businesses with mentors are 5.2 times more likely to survive the first five years than ones without mentors. But who am I? My name is Dwayne McGill and I'm a communications and media studies major at Fayetteville State University. I plan on starting my own small business after college and I spent my last three years of high school around mentors. Now, why does any of this apply to you? I mean, it makes sense for me. I'm the one who wants to start a business. I'm the one who's been around mentors. But why should you be listening? One word, legacy. Everyone in here today wants to leave a legacy, whether it's a family legacy, a financial legacy, which by the way, 88% of millionaires today are entrepreneurs, or it's a legacy to pass down knowledge as a mentor. We all have something, we all have information, and we all have been through challenges that have taught us lessons that we can give to the next generation to leave a legacy. However, I believe in order to fully understand the roles of entrepreneurs and mentors, we need to understand what they are. So let's define entrepreneurs and mentors. Google says an entrepreneur is a person who organizes or operates a business or businesses and takes a greater than normal risk to do so. Now that's not a bad definition by any means, but I feel like it's missing something. So let's try a person who organizes or operates a business or businesses taking a greater risk while having the ability to manage the risk and navigate their environment. Now it's not too much of a deviation, but it is a necessary change because what makes or breaks an entrepreneur? The way they move under pressure. With that said though, no human is perfect and no human can go through life's challenges alone, especially the challenges of an entrepreneur. And because of that, Entrepreneurs need to seek mentors, but what is a mentor? Google has a very sweet, straight to the point definition for mentor, an experienced and trusted advisor. Now, I spent the last three years of my high school career around, around mentors, and they're more than just an experienced and trusted advisor. But I couldn't think of a real definition for them, so I went to ask one of my old mentors, and he came up with this definition. A mentor is a trusted individual who is reliable to talk to and beneficial to be around, but is also someone who holds you accountable for growth. Now, honestly, that is a much better definition for one reason. It talks about a part of mentorship that people don't normally talk about, and that's accountability. But now that we understand the differences of each role, Let's get into the matter at hand. Entrepreneurs need a mentor when starting and maintaining a business because entrepreneurship is one of the hardest, and I mean hardest jobs you can have. One of the reasons is because of work-life balance. Having the ability to manage your, your business as well as manage your personal life is extremely hard. And entrepreneurs strive to work and to reach goals. But this strive for success can lead them into hustle culture. This can, this can be great for entrepreneurs because it allows their businesses to, to thrive, but it can also leave them to be burned out 
because they're overwhelmed. Without mentors to guide, without mentors to guide and support them, this burnout can ultimately lead to depression. This depression can affect not only the business, but their own personal lives. Now that we talked about what can happen to an entrepreneur if they don't have a mentor, let's talk about how mentors really help. Looking back at our definition of mentors, we now know a very important aspect of mentors, keeping their mentees accountable. Entrepreneurs are goal driven. That means they that means that they work to reach specific goals and these goals have to be met. They strive to reach each and every new goal. With the problems of work-life balance we stated before, setting goals are very important in order to keep entrepreneurs from failing. Mentors can help mentors can help them by mentors can help guide them by giving their mentees goals to follow. These goals can be involved by, in work, like reaching a, pro a productivity goal or a financial goal, or it could be a personal goal, like working out or having time to yourself. Mentors also do not need to be a professional at the business of the entrepreneur. All you have to do is be able to pass on knowledge and keep your mentee accountable. So how can you become a mentor? Well, it's very simple, actually. Mid so how can you become a mentor? Well, it's very simple, actually. Many businesses have mentorship programs inside their business because after a while, the, the entrepreneur who originally made the business is going to have to move on, and not all the, and it's not every time that the person who who's of air or who's going to take over the business has everything set up and straightforward. They need mentors themselves, and the business owner can only do so much. So you can join a mentorship program to help guide these next generation of mentors. Like I said before. We all have something we've been through, some, something we've learned, and lessons that we have been taught. We can pass these on to other generations, and this information can leave a legacy and change the lives of many. To end this, I'm going to quote Lemuel Miranda in this hit musical Hamilton. He says, legacy. What is a legacy? It's planting a seed in the garden you never get to see. What garden will you grow, and what legacy will you leave?